and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be taking a look at the scary add-on. So yeah, another horror add-on. I don't remember what's inside this, so yeah, hopefully this will be fun and spooky and stuff. I don't know what. I'm not, I don't really know what people want from a you know horror add-on, but it's spooky month, so we're doing spooky add-ons. So let's get right into it once the world's loaded up. Got Lily here with me today. So yeah, I'm having turtles with daddy. She's got a screaming chicken. She likes a screaming chicken. So it makes noises when I chew on it. When I bit it. Oh, you dorps. Yeah, there we go. There we go. The world's loaded up. Do the elevators still not work? Oh, they're working again. I think it was probably just a confliction with the other add on. I don't know. Whatever, they're working again, apparently. Yep, we. Because if you saw in the last add-on review, they weren't working. Ah, poop, I forgot there's a bunch of rubbish out here. On the last review. Let me clear that away. So, I'm just going to get myself some iron armor. And an iron sword. And then if I die with this, I'll just you. I'll get some diamond armor and then enchanted diamond and then enchanted diamond. Anyway, um, I forgot I was in creative. Game mode. Game mode. Zero. Also, I hear an explosion. Anyway, a uh, scary add-on by uh, Snail Studios. Find all the essential info to get started. Uh, book instructions, interactive flip, page Freud, hit to close the book. Uh, mob drops is page 3 to 16. Craftable items is page 17 plus, I guess. So there's the plague cow. It drops weird meat and tough leather. So... Let's summon that in some plug cow. So, oh, cute. It is creepy. It's not very hard when you're surrounded by a ton of butterfly, colorful butterflies. So yeah, got tough leather and weird meat. And there's plague sheep, which drops lamb chops and the heavy thread. So let me just eat up. Oh, and I should also give myself a shield. Give at P sh shield. There we go. Okay, that is creepy. Yeah. But it's dead. Oh, you also get white wool. You also get wool from it. It doesn't tell you where they spawn at, or you know, and, and if you know, and how they spawn. Like if they only spawn during night, or whatever. There's a plague pig, it gives you nasty meat and tough leather. Pig. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> they, 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 have, they have got some really creative and creepy designs for these plague mobs. Yeah, I got some weird meat from nasty meat from it. Oh, I probably also got some. Nah, I only had two. Then there's plague chicken. It drops chicken legs. Chicken. Ah. Doesn't look like it. So much like a plague chicken. It looks like a parasite has infected a chicken. And I burst out of it, like chest burster style, but it's also like wearing the corpse of the chicken that it burst out of. Still creepy, but not exactly. Uh, well, I thought when it said plague chicken. Next up is the plague skeleton. It drops bone pieces and reinforced bone. Oh! Hold on, let me set time tonight. Time set mid. And I probably shouldn't have jumped off there. He's still on fire. There we go. So this is the plague skeleton. That is... Maybe it's got like a... Heart? It's got like a flesh lump in the center of it, in the rib cage, and it's just like jutting out. I didn't get any of his shots, I just got bones and arrows. Bone and arrows. Let's summon another one in. Also, why does it still drop arrows? Because it's not got a bow anymore. There we go. Got two bone pieces. Oh, I did not want to do that. I just wanted to eat. Stupid book. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this book. Uh, plague zombie drops rotten, thick rotten flesh and zombie hide. Also, it appears they don't really care about uh, light levels. So here we've got the plague spider. Okay, they are. Okay, so they all uh, gang up on you and take you down. They're not too difficult to deal with. Got a spider bit from him. Let's see if we can find another plague zombie spawning around here. That's a spider. Hold on, was this just a bit too... Right. I just need to spam a few more torches around here. Oh, play creeper. Okay, let's take care of this fake right away. It's still no play zombie spawning. It's oh, play witch. Okay, plague, which is very powerful. Anyway, I'm just going to spawn the plague zombie in. Right, plague zombie.
It's uh Oh, wow, well, he's quite strong. Okay, there's another one here. His attack animations on when he hits aren't lying about. Uh, go away! Well, I'm gonna hit you with that. Oh my god, it survived the hit from my new link cleaver. Take damage from yeah, it takes damage from instant damage arrows, so they don't count as undead apparently. Also, that which drops every possible item. What oh, guys? Oh my god! Oh, there's a dark patch over here that I missed. I just died. How did that not hit you? This weather is a bit laggy, so probably the lag. Why I couldn't hit it. No. Well, there's a health bar. Oh, there you go. Whatever that was, it's dead now. Ah, oh, probably a uh, wandering trader. I got scared and went invisible. Anyway, so that was the uh, zombie. Next up is the plague spider. Dot spider bits and spider legs. Yeah, we saw this guy earlier. Oh, he can hit quite hard. Anyway, we saw him before and we killed him. I got some stuff for him. Oh, he's still here. And now he's dead. Then the next time we got the Plague Creeper, we did see this earlier. It's going to be a bit difficult to summon him. He might just explode on top of me. Oh yeah, you can see him there. Okay, he instantly he explodes. I have no idea how, I'm, how you're supposed to kill him. Because he exploded before I could even get it within range of hitting him. So yeah, I don't know. Next up is the plague goat. They drop goat chunks, goat fur, goat tongues. Yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, plague goat. Yeah, not too difficult. Next up is the Plague Villager. It drops Tainted Emeralds and Red Emeralds. Okay. Ill villager. 
Well, I don't know why it's called two separate things. By like one way in the book they call it a plague villager, and then the, some in their menu they call it the eel villager. There you go, I just did. And I got a tinted emerald. Next up is a plague which it drops for guys. We saw this earlier. that noise? No idea. Okay, I'm gonna go in mood spectator. Is there something down here? Ah, there's a skeleton down here. Is it just that skeleton that's making that noise? Okay. Now I just come down here and kill him real quick. There we go. Alright, now on to the dweller. So, um, well, oh, that's one of these guys. Oh, I forgot to give myself a shield. Give at the shield. Right, there he is. Oh, down the hat, this one like that. Oh. Yeah, he's noisy. Yeah, but, and he drops Asian Sword Grip, Asian Sword Guard, and Asian Sword Blade. I assume you're going to use them to make an Asian Sword. And there's Loud Mouth, drop, it drops Loud Speaker and Loud Lever. So, oh. Uh, yep, and he does not like me being near him. Yep, he's totally summoned Dill, guys. Come on, I'll kill you easy. My sword is almost broken. Oh, uh, yeah, just something more of those guys. Ow. Ow. Oh, I got that. He's spawning a bunch of these little guys, and it's annoying.
Come on. Oh, I'm almost. I am almost dead. Ah. Ah, oh, he's still there. Uh, my sword is almost dead. I'm gonna run up to him and whack him as much as I can before my sword dies. And I broke my sword on him. Give at P Iron Sword. Sword. And I'm going to attack him with an iron shovel. Yeah, so the best strategy to this guy is like one little pet hit him a bunch, take care of his little guys when he summons them. Or you could just shoot him with a crossbow. I mean, doing this is pretty easy. Ow. And you know, when I can whack him in the face. Well, not in the face, he's too tall to whack him in the face. I can whack him in the legs. And the crutch. God, it does a lot of damage though when he knocks you back. And he's on. Ah, uh, there's someone another one of these guys. Ow. Oh, it doesn't do... Wait, so he didn't do damage knocking me back that time. Come on, you have a lot of health. Well, I killed him, but his deal dude killed me. And I can just run and finish him off. I did. How's my shield looking? Yeah, not too bad. Oh, and I got his speaker. Uh, so yeah, that's a loud mouth. Next up we got Smiler. He dropped Smiler Teeth. Smile. Oh, there's another one of them. This guy's at. What is his name? The Dweller. Here. No. Do you mean to hit enter? Kill at E type equals Dweller. There we go. How do I get this smart? Hold on, if I go into game mode one minute. Game mode one. Smiley. Plague Smiler. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this guy's not too bad. He doesn't do much damage, and I can just whack him with my sword. There we go, he's dead. And he dropped three teeth. 
getting a lens flare through the mountains. Uh, anyway. Ah, so this is the crafting stuff. So we've got the undead fist. It's two of the... Uh, what is it called? The zombie hide. Yeah, two zombie hide. Oh, yes, yeah, so I said two zombie hides and a diamond. Striker, uh, fear into your enemies. So I'm just going to give myself the undead fist. Give... HP undead fist. So it does seven attack damage, same as a diamond sword. It's not that difficult to kill the zombies. You just I did an iron armor fairly easily. It's getting two zombie hides isn't that difficult. So yeah, pretty good item because it's you know cheaper than a diamond sword. Does much as much damage as a diamond sword. I'm gonna go see if you can enchant this. I'm also going to give you sleep, so I don't get interrupted. Sleeps. At least looking at me. Get that out of this world is really laggy. I have no idea why it's so laggy. Maybe I need to do something. I've not had this problem like other worlds either, it's just this world that's laggy. Anyway. Oh yeah, I've got a graphic making. So, game mode one. What game me break? Fuck. Undead fist, fuck, and yet. Enchanted with looting, unbreaking, sharpness, mending, and not back. Alright, so. Uh, Lily, stop it. No, no Grizzly Grooves, Baba. It's just people coming and going, they don't want to be barked at by you. So let's um uh let's summon a play uh, play chicken. There we go. Had trouble hitting it. Yeah, and it's dead. Yeah, it's basically a diamond sword, but with damage wise. You can use four zombie hide to, uh, four rotten flesh to, thick rotten flesh to make zombie hide. Uh, yeah, so take four of these. Ah, I guess that has to be in a crafting table. Give. At P craft table. Wham bam. Four of these into zombie hide. Oh, I know two over there. And I just know on this carrot so I can heal up. Then you've got the uh, bone mace, a mace to face a a mace to any face will hit. It's got needs two reinforced bone, a diamond, and two sticks. You appear with diamonds, and you can make reinforced bone with two iron ingots and three uh, pieces of bone. You can also, uh, I think, you can also just get the reinforced bone from the skeleton. Me too, I think I don't know. This one's a bit more expensive, so hopefully it'll uh, be a bit more powerful. Give at P Boon May no Bone Mace What? Hold on. E mode one. <clears throat> Boom. Mace. 
There you go. Does eight attack damage, so it's an act one extra attack damage than the uh, undead fist. And what I'm going to do is actually I should have done this earlier, but I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to go get a bunch of these books. Oh, let me just empty my inventory. Also, uh, oh yeah, that was the last reveal. You didn't know what you said. Anyway, I'm just gonna grab a bunch of these books. And I'm gonna enchant this mace. Yeah, looting, breaking, sharpness, mending, and not back. Uh, I don't have the mace enchantments on these, so let's just do. Uh, wind. So let's see, can you put the mace enchantments on this? No, okay. Yes, forte check. Yeah, it's a cool looking mace. It doesn't have any special abilities, so you just hit with it and it does. Uh, uh, so 14, 15 years. It just, it just does, just does one more damage in this, and because it's not super, uh, you know, a ton more expensive, I guess it's fine. Next up it is the, oh, there's bone armor, so it's using a bunch of the, uh, say so this one, you got like the bone fragments and reinforced bone here, you got bone fragments, reinforced bone, bone, and the, uh, Wool that uh, that re that yarn that we got off the sheep. Same for that one, and that one's just re bone fragments and bone. I think is anyway. So I'm just gonna go in game with one and get the armor. Boom. Helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. Here we go. Cool looking armor. Can it be enchanted? Let's find out. The head can be enchanted with Aqua Affinity, Forms, Respiration, Protection, and Breaking and Mending. Chest plate can be enchanted with Forms, Protection, Unbreaking, and Mending. Leggings can be enchanted with Forms, Swift Sneak, Protection, Unbreaking, and Mending. And the boots can be intended with Depth Strider, Fawn, Soul Speed, Feather Fawn, Protection, and Breaking and Mending. Yeah, so they can all be enchanted with all their enchantments. Uh, how does this compare to Diamond, though? So, full Diamond. One and a half bar. So if I just... Hold on. Uh, let me take all this off. So... That's too bad. So it's more than diamond. So let's see. So the chest plate, if I take it off, that's two, three and a half. And it does four. So that's a half. So yeah, it's, it's for like a little bit better than diamond. I think it's like half a, half each. Boots do one and a half, and leggings do three. So yeah, I think there's just like a little bit better than diamond. Anyway, on to the next thing. Next up we have the web scythe. It's two of those corrupted emeralds from the villager, and three of the uh, yeah, spider legs from the spider, and tainted emeralds. Get the web scythe. Give... At P web website. This does seven attack damage, so it does as much as the undead fist, which I think it should do more because the animals are more difficult to get. Because this is more difficult. Yeah. In general, this is just more difficult to get than that, but 
Let's see, what can this be intended with? Yeah, looting or breaking, sharpness, mending, and knockback. And if, yeah, you can uh, get more spider legs with spider bits. You can get the filthy axe, which is a neverite ingot, the... Uh, what's, what's that guy? Neverite ingot, creeper phase, and iron ingot. So yeah, that's going to be really difficult to get because... Uh, and two sticks, because the creepers, I couldn't like, even hit him before he exploded. There is filthy axe, does eight attack damage. And it can be enchanted with loot, looting, and breaking, sharpness, mending, and not back. It does fog. So that's the same as the bone maze. You can make creeper faces that with uh, five creeper clumps, which you didn't even tell me that was a thing you could get. Then you know, we've got the tongue dag dagger, sharper than you'd expect. So you get it from two goat tongues and a neverite ingot. So yeah, also, this uses, uses a neverite ingot, so this should... They'll be wet, more powerful than the bone mace, which is far cheaper. Uh, let's get the dag. Tongue, goat tongue dagger. That can be enchanted with looting, unbreaking, sharpness, mending, and knockback. And it does the same as the bone mace. Again, it uses an everite ingot, should be more uh, powerful than. The uh, bone mace. And then we've got the goat armor. Which just doesn't use any never I think it's yet you need never I think it's to uh, ancient scrap you know, the scraps to repair it. I mean that ironing it is meant to be a never the ironing is might supposed to be the never I think is I or something I don't know. So let's get the go oh to goat. So go 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 goat. Let's take a look at the armor. Yeah. Cool armor. Uh, I ran out of books. Uh, let's just assume they can all be enchanted uh, with everything. Then we have the red emerald sword. Red M. Sword. It's the villager sword, not the red emerald sword. But it's cool. You can make a red emerald with four tainted emeralds. Also, how much damage does this do? Eight attack damage again, same as the mace. Again, it should be more powerful. And then you have the red emerald set. Red M. Let's take a look at this. Eh, pretty cool. Well, I'm not. I think the other ones look a bit cooler for Hollow. For us at. For a, you know, scary add-on. Then you have the Witch Sword. Witch. No, not Witch. Witch. Itch. Sword. Does A attack damage, same as the Mace again. Should be more powerful because it uses an Everite Inger, but it's a cool looking sword. And then we have the Asian Sword, which, yeah, and... Um, it was pretty obvious that this was going to be a thing, because you have all the thing. This does 9 attack damage, which is more than the others. So, yeah, I would re recommend just like going for the mace and then getting this before you get the sword. this sword. Yeah. Or maybe give like the uh, some of the uh, other ones, like the... Witch Sword, the Web Scythe, the Filthy Axe, the Villager Sword, uh, a bonus effect, and the uh, Goat Dagger bonus effects to make them worth crafting. Let's 
Stop killing things, stupid. 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 Which mutated witch things, anyway. Uh, then we've got the uh, Smiler Sword. Shmai. Does 9 attack damage. Does use an ever thing he got. Looks pretty cool. Then you have the Loud Mouth Weapon. Loud. <laughs> so got the Loud Weapon. This does 10 attack damage. And then you have the Loud Set. Let's take a look at these. Yeah, pretty cool. No, not really. It's basically just black armor. Get yeah, I mean, if you want black armor, that's cool, but yeah. And that's it. So yeah, pretty cool add-on. Not super challenging, so if you're looking for like an add-on that does add like uh body horror like mobs. Um if you're into that kind of thing, then uh, this uh, you'll like this. Uh, it does add some cool, like, new weapons and stuff, so that is, that is a uh, upside to this. So, yeah, hope you guys all... Are, uh, so, yeah, I would recommend, you know, if you like what you see, obviously, uh, you can go out and buy it. But yeah, uh, other than that, not got anything else to say, so I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Oh, I did not mean to check that out. Oh, I got that. So, yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one and bye bye